Hey guys, welcome back to another Planzilla video for today's vlog and we will be dealing again with a philodendron tricolor. However, hindi ito yun guys. Ipapakita ko lang sa inyo na hindi muna namin uunahin to kasi naglabas na po siya ng mga aerial roots. So we will be dealing with another one. For those who have watched our previous video, nagkaroon po kami ng mound layering na video about philodendron tricolor pa din. So, eto yon kasi madami po silang mga mother plants na halos sabay-sabay naming na-propagate. Pero eto sila guys, we haven't checked it. Pinapabayaan po namin silang magkaroon pa ng madaming roots. Today's video, it's going to be about this one kasi hindi po magkasabay yung mga shoot nila. And this one right here is quite big na but it doesn't have any aerial root pa. That's why para mapadali namin yung pagkakaroon niya ng roots, we will be doing the air layering for today. So if you are interested, just keep watching. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe at the notification bell so you'll be notified pag may bago kaming video. So if you are ready, let's begin! So here is our philodendron white knight guys. We did the same process for this one. And ito na siya ngayon. Hindi pa namin na check But because transparent yung ginamit namin, we can see the roots here. Makikita siya kahit sa labas. And even if you take a closer look from the top, meron na tayong makikita mga roots na nagsisilabasan guys. So kapag dumami na talaga sila, of course, makikita naman natin dito. And makaklaro natin kung enough na ba for us to cut it. So, that's the time na mapapropagate na namin sila. So, for now, hinihintay-hintay lang namin. And ito nga pala is a new leaf, but it doesn't show any white spots on it. Pero, meron siyang ganitong detail sa leaf. I do not know what it is it and if it's a variegation or something. Pero, ayan, ayan yung itsura ng pinaka-latest na leaf niya. And, we're still hoping that it's gonna show its variegation in time. So, eto siya, guys. And we really do believe that air layering is quite effective for philodendron. So it's really up to you if you'd like to try this at home. Basta kami, ginagawa na namin siya dito sa garden. And so far, it's effective for us. Also, a product of air layering, yung philodendron royal queen namin. Ayan. Kaso nga lang, dahil sa palaging pag-ulan, ayan, mayroon na siyang nabutas dyan sa pinakabagong leaf niya. But do not worry, it's gonna recover in the future. So we will be using another plastic still of the same size bottle pa din ng water yung gagamitin namin and of course lalagyan niya ng mga coconut fiber dito sa butas para hindi siya masyadong harsh or para hindi siya makagasgas dun sa stem ng plant so ayan yung itsura niya ngayon so that's also what we did for mound layering guys pero yung nilagay namin doon cotton so hindi naman namin siya dinidistorbo so hindi na displace yung nilagay na cotton so yung gagamitin namin ngayon is the coconut fiber Meron kasi po siyang mga shoots na papalabas, but they are still small. So, we had to find ways para magkaroon siya ng madaming roots, para makuha na namin siya from the mother plant to give way to those baby shoots that are about to grow. So, kakover lang niya yan. Napakita naman namin how to do it before on our previous video. But for those who missed to watch that video, here it is guys. Another layering that you can try at home. So, ayan, sobrang easy lang. And, of course, yung butas na nilagay dyan sa baba just fits the size of the stem, guys. So, ayan lang. Pero, tansya-tansya lang po yan. Tinansya lang yung size ng stem para, syempre, mag-fit siya dyan and hindi siya masyadong loose para hindi siya gagalaw-galaw. So, dito sa area na to, naglagay pa din kami ng coconut fiber dyan guys para hindi masugatan yung stem or yung ano ba yan yung tawag dyan, petiole nya guys for us, sinasara namin siya through a stapler so nagsistaple lang kami both edge para malock in siya guys 
and hindi na natin siya basta-basta ma-open. So, here it is, stapled and secured para hindi siya ma-open, guys. So, it's really up to you if you'd like to do this and you will use a different material nasa sa inyo po yun. Basta, yung idea lang ng paggamit ng ganitong technique yung pinapakita namin dito. So, it's really up to you if you can find another ways or any other materials that can help you para mapabilis yung pagpapadami ng roots ng plants nyo. Of course, we want to propagate all of our shoots successfully. That's what we are doing as well. Yun din yung tinatry namin, guys. Kasi kapag ganito, mas malaki kasi yung chance na mabuhay siya and makarecover kaagad after propagation. Kasi nga, whenever we cut this, automatically, madami na siyang roots and parang meron na siyang life of its own kahit naka-attach pa siya sa mother plant. Kasi nga, meron na siyang madaming roots. Mabuti na yun kasi makakakuha siya ng madaming nutrients. Of course, we are trying to use the potting media guys that we believe na makakapagbigay sa kanya ng nutrients. So, that way kasi kapag nakatouch na sa potting media yung mga root, once may lumabas automatically, dadami sila guys and magsasanga-sanga. So, that's the benefit of doing this for your plant. Since hindi po sila pareho ng size, may tendency na mas mabilis lumaki itong malaki na talaga ever since. So, this one is quite big na. So, syempre, mas mabilis siyang lumaki talaga. Mas mabilis siyang magkakaroon ng mga roots. Pero dahil isinama natin itong mas maliit, we will be using aloe vera for our root booster kasi hindi naman natin siya ikakat. Papahiran lang po natin ng aloe vera itong area na possible na lalabasan ng roots para magkaroon siya ng madaming roots. So, we do believe in aloe vera guys. And na siya ka-helpful sa plants. That's why gagamitin namin siya for today kasi meron pa naman kaming aloe vera dito. So, super dali lang. Nandito yung mga aloe vera. Tingnan nyo tong area na to. This is supposed to be a garden. Pero, ayan, may tanim akong luya pero hanggang dun lang. Yung mga kamatis na tinatry ko, ayan, hindi ko nabibigyan ng time. Kaya, until now, it doesn't look like a garden. Yung previous plants na inner layering namin or even yung naka-mound layering guys, hindi na namin nilagyan ng aloe vera kasi halos magkasinlaki lang naman yung mga shoots na nandun. So, definitely sabay-sabay silang tutubo, sabay-sabay silang magkakaroon ng roots. Unlike this one, na medyo kakaiba talaga kasi mas maliit tong isa. So, kapag ganito din kasi guys, and hinayaan namin na ganyan lang siya. Hindi kami nag-try na tulungan na magkaroon siya ng madaming roots. Ayan, yung isa kasi dito papayat, yung isa yung lalaki. Kasi magiging kakompetensya sila sa nutrients. So, alam naman natin yung talaga nangyayari, nagsasapawan talaga. So, that's the reason maybe bakit malaki tong isa tapos maliit tong isa guys. So, papahiran lang yan guys, that way. Sobrang dali lang naman. Ayan. Kasi wala pang nabibigay na roots eh. So, papahiran na lang din namin yung isa. Para magkaroon, magkaroon na din ng madaming roots. So, eto mga shoots lang to. Nung mga malalaking tricolor. And ipapakita ko na lang din sa inyo yung top cut nila. So, eto yung mga top cut nila guys. Here they are. Eto, tatlo. Tatlong top cut. Here they are. And ngayon lang nagkaroon ng mga shoots yung mga mother plants nila. Ayan, eto o. Oh. I super love it. If you have noticed, meron kaming mga maliliit na coconut cubes dyan or coconut husk ba yan na nakalagay sa ilalim just to help it stay in place para hindi siya malaglag. Baka kasi pupunta siya sa baba, especially kapag meron na tayong nilagay sa loob. And we have our soilless potting media here, super light para hindi siya mabigatan dyan. Siyempre, kasi medyo nakaangat siya. That's why, air layering yung tawag sa kanya. And, gumagamit talaga kami ng super light, lalo na ngayong rainy days, guys. Wala po kaming soil na ginagamit for every repotting of our plants. Super easy lang. Ayan, lalagyan lang yan dyan. And, yung mga nagtatanong nga pala, ano yung mga pinapahid namin, every time nagka-cut, we are using cinnamon powder, guys. But, if you have aloe vera at home, aloe vera is also effective, and it can also help your plant heal easily, and act as a root booster pa. So, marami ding dala yung aloe vera, guys, for a natural remedy, or a natural way to heal your plants cut, every time nagpa-propagate kayo, you can use it. 
So this is how easy it is. Pupunoin lang yan. Or maybe up until makaabot yung potting media na na-prepare namin dun sa area na tutubuan ng roots or mga possible areas na magkakaroon ng roots itong philodendron tricolor namin. So, mapapansin nyo guys, ito talaga yung marami sa amin dito kasi ito talaga yung pinakaunang philodendron na nagkaroon kami tapos nakabili pa din kami and then nag-anak-anak na. So, yun. But we do share as well every time meron na kaming mga bagong shoots. We aren't selling na. So for those who are asking, hindi na po kami nagbibenta. Pero dun sa mga malapit dito and of course sa mga malapit, na, malapit ang loob, <laughs> ayan na si Sharon po sila. So and guys, we are almost done dahil sobrang dali lang naman talaga ng process na to. And kayang kaya yung gawin sa bahay. So, try this one. This is super effective for your philodendrons. And of course, the potting media that we are using is super perfect for the rainy days. So, I'll get to see you guys when we get right into the montage. So guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for making it all the end. It has been Maria, the voice of Panzilla Bukal. If you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button. Pakitap na din po yung bell icon so you'll be notified pag may bago kaming video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!